But well, what you, I hear, you, have, you have significant value to offer to the world. And you're at a time and space in your life now where you know exactly what that is, whether it's offering photography services in a variety of sundries or consulting in a marketing capacity, fashion, um, design, all the things that you're doing. You're relatively innovative in the age and the space and the time of who you are now. And so to me personally, it's a demeaning it's a demeaning situation across the board and a lose-lose situation across the board for the client who hires you and for you who is working with the client if there isn't a mutual reciprocity and a mutual respect upon the collaboration that the two of you set out to achieve. Yeah. So what I wanted to say from what you're saying, we were talking yesterday about expectations and sometimes expectations just get in the way. But I think in this situation, when you're going in with certain expectations, you've gone in with a discovery of this is what I'm going to do. This is what you're going to do. These are what our expectations are. This is what our outcome or our goal is. Do you feel like that can make a difference? Oh, 100% it makes a difference. And there should be a full scale onboarding process. I had this conversation yesterday. I don't know who I was even speaking to, but we're interviewing, we should be interviewing the people we work with just as much as they are interviewing us. And, and don't take this the wrong way. Like, I don't want you to think I'm some narcissistic prick that needs to have a vanity, a vanity appeal to what I do. I'm simply saying that you're paying me a lot of money to do something mm -hmm. for you, whether it's consult for you, whether it's train you, whether it's educate you, whether it's photography or video, you're, you're paying me a decent amount of money to do that. It's, it's in my best interests and your best interests for the best possible outcome that we mutually know what we're about to set out to do and how we're going to go about doing it. Flexible, of course, but going in, if you know that this is the expectations and what everybody's responsibilities are, it's going to set you up for a lot less grudgery and frustration, frustrations, false expectations as you get into it. I would say, do you agree with that? The board, yes. With, with, most businesses, when you take on a project, it's not, oh, I'm spending, you know, that's, that's 10 hours on set or that's 10 hours in this experience that I'm doing it. It's never just the 10 hours. You are continually thinking about that and coming up with ideas or strategies or ways to implement something. So if your mind is that busy with something that you don't wholeheartedly agree with that project or want to invest your time or, or have 100% belief behind it, you shouldn't be working on that project. And no, I've had, as disagree. well have, as you have had, clients that we've spoken to and talked about the whatever the project is, and we haven't been the best fit for the project for a, a, a number of reasons, whether we, we can't agree on, on what the outcome should be, we don't feel vested in it, um, we just might not be the best person and we will recommend someone else. But I think vetting on both sides is, is integrally important. I absolutely 100% agree with that. Uh, and, and